Ross here, Modern Day Performing Strongman. I thank you for watching. If you're unfamiliar with what a Modern Day Performing Strongman is, basically we perform feats of strength like bending steel bars, breaking chains, driving nails through wooden boards by hand, rolling up frying pans, twisting horseshoes, bending wrenches, that sort of thing as part of what would normally be a live show. Since the nation is currently under a shutdown, there are no live shows because there's no gatherings. So, I figured on using the downtime in between shows to just get myself as strong as I possibly can specific to the feats that I do when I'm on stage. So, a while back I was watching a YouTube video on overcoming isometrics put out by a YouTube channel called The Bioneer. The guy seems pretty knowledgeable when it comes to this stuff, and I was curious what he had to say about it. And in the video, he had mentioned another strong man named Dennis Rogers. So I figured I would chime in and say, Hey, I'm a modern day performing strong man too, and I use isometrics in my training. So recently, people have been um, commenting on that comment, asking me questions about isometrics and bending wrenches and stuff like that, asking for advice, and I didn't really give any advice out. And it's not because I'm stingy when it comes to giving advice. It's because they're expecting like a simple answer to what is actually a really loaded question. You know, for example, I do online personal training. At least I've been forced to since I can't really, really train anyone in person. When I was training people in person, it's like I go through a, a somewhat lengthy health history. I assess them, screening them for previous injuries, and I, then from there, it's like I can formulate a training program. Online, I also try to do that as best I can, and I can't really do that in the comment section of a YouTube video. They're expecting a simple answer, but it's really a loaded question. So I was hesitant to try to give them advice. What I did instead was I offered my coach to them. I said, this is the guy who, tra who trains me. He's the one that I go to for advice. So you better be best going to the source because this guy's the true expert. If, you, if you're watching this and you're wondering who it is, it's Hercules Chris Ryder. The guy who holds multiple world records and was on Ripley's Believe It or Not pulling box trucks that weigh as much as two elephants with his hair. The guy knows more about feats of strength, like it, or he, I should say, he's forgotten more about the feats of strength than I know. He just knows stuff. So he's the one that I go to when I don't know something, including my current training. So as an example, um, about a week or so ago, I put out a YouTube video outlining what I'm currently doing in training. And I had mentioned that I was doing isometrics five days a week. Turns out five days a week was too much. When I was training yesterday, I could actually feel that I was putting less power behind the feats. So I asked him, I'm like, do you think that this is too much? And he's like, if you do it the way I do it, yeah. Once or, he's doing it once or twice a week and I'm gonna be doing the same. When you're going full out, uh, that is. So how I'm using the isometrics is, like as an example, this is a steel bar. It's from the same batch that I would normally do in a show. The difference is that I cut it a bit shorter, about half an inch to an inch of what I would normally do in a show. This gives me less leverage and it makes it harder to bend just a bit outside what I can currently do. Just a bit outside. So I went at it with full intentions of bending it. And I got it up until this point. Now if you've ever seen me perform bending a steel bar like this, you know I start it on top of my leg and then I put it under my leg and I pull it and when I've pulled it to a certain point, I transition to a position like this and I continue from there until I can get it into what's known as the crushing position. 
So this was as far as I could do it. I couldn't get it any farther than that. And that tells me where the weak link is in this particular feat as far as the positions. So my weak link is somewhere between pulling it here and pushing it here. That tells me where the gap in my training for this feet is. So that is what's getting trained, at least until I can get it moving again. And then depending or not, if it stops and gives me more trouble, then that's going to be trained. So basically I'm training this until I can finish it. Now as for what you should be doing, I don't know. And I'm not gonna answer that because I don't really know anything about you. Um, but I at least, I hope I shed a bit of light on what I currently do. I don't mean to be shady. It's just that, you know, for one thing, if I was to try to give advice when I don't really know anything about like your medical history, I'm one, I'm putting you in danger. And two, I'm doing you a disservice because if you're not going to really try to go down this road, why, why bother? And if you are going to be trying to go down this road, down this road, I'm not the one to advise you on how to do it. I recommend you go to the one that I go to because he will take you farther. That's what he does. Um, so... Again, his name is Hercules Chris Ryder. I'm gonna provide a link in the description below. If this is something that you wanna do, I highly suggest that you reach out to him. Anyways, um, I thank you for watching. Stay healthy, stay strong, and stay safe. Have a good one, everybody.